Why hello there people of the internet, my name is Kieran Crew, and you're watching my video. Okay, so i just like to say thank you for all of you guys that subscribed to my channel, commented on my last video and liked it. It really means the world to me, thank you so much. And if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be doing this. So today we're going to be doing the accent tag. It's a tag I've been want wanting to do for a while so um, let's get to it. Okay, I have my phone so I'm just going to be answering questions off this. Question one, where are you from? So I'm originally from Hong Kong and when I was growing up I only had three television programs I ever watched and that was Disney Channel, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. So that's why I kind of have this American twang on my accent. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Um, and then when I was 11 I moved to Ireland and that's why I kind of have an Irish twang on some words as well. And since, since I'm from Hong Kong I kind of have like a Chinese twang on some other words as well. So it's kind of confusing, my accent's kind of all over the place. So yeah, that's where I'm from. Question two! Pronounce the following words. So I'll put the actual word here, over there, and then I'll just pronounce them how I feel like I pronounce them, okay? Aunt, roof, root, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminium, gift, tumbler, cracker jack, doorknob, envelope. Okay, so that was all for question two. Question three. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? TPing a house? Question four. What is a bubbly carbonated drink? A uh, soda or a fizzy drink? Question five. What do you call gym shoes? Uh, runners or trainers? Question six. What do you call your grandparents? Well, see, that's different for me, because I call my Irish grandparents nanny and granddad, but um, I call my Chinese grandparents papa and gong gong, so yeah, that's just an Asian thing, so that, I don't think that would apply for most of you. Question seven. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? Uh, that would be a shopping cart or a trolley. I think I'm more leaning towards trolley than shopping cart, but yeah, that's just me. Question eight. What's the thing you changed the TV channel with. That's a television remote, obviously a TV remote. Question nine. Okay, now it wants me to choose a book and read a passage from it. So I got my book and it's Manga for Dummies. Um, I read this quite a lot, so um, I love this book. Yokoso. Welcome to Manga for Dummies. Manga is a cultural phenomenon that continues to grow in popularity, not only in the United States, but also worldwide. Throughout this book, I focus on the basic skills you will need to create your first manga characters for your own creator-owned manga series. Whether you are an inspiring artist or a professional illustrator wanting to explore a different style of drawing, this book is a great place to start. Okay, so yeah, that was Manga for Dummies. Question 10! Do you think you have an accent? Yes, of course I think I have an accent. Um, I think my accent is made up of American English, Irish English, and Chinese English. So it's all those three different types of English all molded into one. Okay, I don't know why this question's in here, but... Question 11. Be a wizard or a vampire? Um, that's actually a really hard question. Okay, I've decided, okay? If I'm a wizard that can live forever, wizard. If I, can, if I can't live forever, then I'm a vampire. There we go. Perfect. I've decided. So um, if you guys came up to me and said, would you like to be a wizard or a vampire? I'd ask you, can the wizard live forever? And if you guys said no, then I'd be a vampire. And if you guys said yes, then I would be the wizard. Perfect. Question 12. I say three words that I want to say just to end this video. So I'm going to end it by saying three words that all mean the same thing, but are all different, which is garbage, trash, and rubbish. There we go. Three words that all describe this video! Woo! Okay, I guess that's the end of this accent tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button here and it'll take you straight to my subscription page. You can also like this video and comment on this video if you liked it. Um, it makes me feel warm inside when you guys leave me like, lovely comments. And if you guys hated this video, go ahead and leave me a hateful comment and it'll make me feel warm inside filled with hatred. But um, yeah, um, and in the comments below, tell me what your accent is. I really want to know, so like, do you have like a really strong New York accent, or do you have like 
a really strong Jamaican man accent. Um, uh, so yeah, I just really want to know what accent you have. And yeah, that'd be cool. And I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Um, I promise you guys if I get 100 subscribers uh, on this channel that I will do the cinnamon challenge. I'm kind of nervous. So I don't really want to do it. But I promise you guys I'll do it if I get 100 subscribers. So fingers crossed. Make sure you share this video on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Tumblr. And... Instagram, everything. Just share it out. Just share it with your friends, you know. It just it means the world to me when you guys do that. So yeah, thank you very much. And thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Why hello there people of the internet. My name is Karen Crew and you're watching my very first video. Kevin, I can hear you walking outside! Walk faster!